Oops. ARB RD128, common problem. Here's the fix. In a very cold workshop, we now have an RD128. This is the later ARB. As you can see, the copper pipe going over the top of the crown wheel. Um, they've switched it from the other side. Not only that, but the locking pin here doesn't really lock it. You can actually move this backwards and forwards. Here's the air pipe, which isn't really held in place. This can move around quite considerably, as shown earlier, which can cause this to chaff quite easily off there. Then it goes over the top of the crown wheel. Now, if you set it too far from the crown wheel, when you put it into your vehicle, it will actually crush down and chop off. Uh, if you set it too close to the crown wheel, uh, it will pull it down and chop it off. And this pipe moves around far too easily. So the fact it's loose here and loose up here does not make for a very uh, good unit. So hence we've made the brackets to hold this into place, which we'll now do. So first thing to do is to remove the standard lock pin and throw that away. Uh, we'll be undoing this bolt here and we'll be undoing this bolt here. In the kit itself, there are the two brackets, which will fit in a minute. You'll get four bolts. Yes, I know there's only three there. There are two different lengths of bolts. Uh, this depends on the type of casing you've got. When you take your bolts out of your casing, compare it with these two, and you want to pick the one that is slightly longer than the one you've got, which is taking up, if you like, the gap that that is generating. So you've still got full purchase on the bolt made in the casing. Selection of nuts and bolts and washers here and P-clips to fit the copper pipe. And if you have, like this one here, a flat top casing, then in the kit you will find this longer pin. And the idea of this is it actually properly locks this into position. Now it's no good putting the pin in here and smacking it hard down, because if you push this and really ram the pin home, what will happen is instead of this being fitted with a universal gap going all the way around, you'll actually push it down and it will cause it to actually leak air. And let's face it, you've got enough problem with ARBs not leaking in the first place. So put the new roll pin back in there, bring it down so it's just touching on this slotted face here, which should mean it would be about a millimetre or so sticking out the top, which we'll show you in a minute. So here is the pin in. As you will see, it's just slightly proud at the top. The other thing which is very anoraki is on this pin there is a slot that runs down uh, full length put the slot so that it's right at the back and it actually helps but when you look at the fitment now that is just touching I hope you can see just touching that and that is now if I get hold of the pipe absolutely solidly held in place properly do not hit that down so it's flush because it will push that and it will knock it out of alignment it's really letting it sit in a happy position and then just bringing this down until it touches and locks it make sure the copper pipe is on this side of the uh, first plate, put the uh, new bolt back in, having cleaned out the thread in here with brake cleaner, uh, just take the bolt out, fill it with brake cleaner, leave it for 30 seconds, blow it out with an airline, take the new slightly longer bolt, put some Loctite 243 or 270 would be good, torque it down, that puts that plate there, and on the other side do exactly the same with the other plate, with the copper pipe going over the top and coming out of the hole at the bottom. You will need to remove the bung that holds the copper pipe in place. These are then the two main plates that are going to hold the airline in position, which we will now show. Now, again, just like here, don't force this down onto there because, again, you'll pull that air ring. Make it so that by the time you've shaped the plate to go across either or both of these holes, that in actual fact the pipe is just resting on the plate and all you're then doing is securing it. If you yank this pipe down you'll cause it to have a bigger air leak here. Then do a minimum gap across the top. What we tend to do is put a plate of steel across the top and then bend it over that and then come down onto this one which we'll show you from a different angle, come down here and back down through the airline. So what we're going to do is now fit that and show it in the fitted position. So here we have the first of the two brackets with the allen bolts and p-clips holding it into place. The pipe has been reshaped going over the top of the crown wheel. As you can see it's really now quite close to the crown wheel, come back to that in a minute. Comes down the other side, picks up onto the other special bracket with two more bolts, goes out and back through the bulkhead. Now you will need to undo that 
and release the copper pipe out to really give you enough ability to um, shape the copper pipe and you do really want to go easy on these copper pipes they are very delicate this one has been pre-loved by the looks of it on many occasions and reshaped but just gently do it take your time um, and it fits together really neatly and that will be the end of your problem a happy tune for an RD128 these are available from the uh, Mega Squirt XS4 before website uh, these are £20 for the kit, no VAT, plus post and packing. There you go.